In this video we'll provide an overview of the complex relationship between beer and diabetes, highlighting the latest scientific research and studies. Moderate alcohol consumption has been associated with a reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Beer, which contains alcohol, has also been studied in this context. A meta-analysis published in the journal Diabetes Care in 2009 examined the relationship between alcohol consumption and the risk of type 2 diabetes in over 575,000 individuals across 20 studies. The researchers found that moderate alcohol consumption, defined as up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men, was associated with a 30-40% to 40 reduced risk of type 2 diabetes compared to non-drinkers. It is essential to note that these findings refer to moderate alcohol consumption. Heavy alcohol consumption, defined as more than three drinks per day, has been associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, binge drinking and excessive alcohol consumption can also lead to acute complications, such as hypoglycemia, in individuals with diabetes. Beer and Diabetes Management While moderate alcohol consumption may have a protective effect against type 2 diabetes, it is important to consider how beer can affect diabetes management. Alcohol can interfere with glucose metabolism, insulin action, and the liver's ability to produce glucose. Consequently, alcohol consumption can lead to both hyperglycemia, high blood sugar, and hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, depending on the individual's blood sugar levels before consuming alcohol and the amount and type of alcohol consumed. A study published in the journal Diabetes Research and Clinical Practice in 2018 investigated the impact of alcohol consumption on glycemic control in individuals with type 1 diabetes. The researchers found that moderate alcohol consumption led to an increased risk of hypoglycemia, especially during the night. In individuals with type 2 diabetes, alcohol can lead to both hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia, depending on factors such as the amount of alcohol consumed, the presence of carbohydrates in the drink, and the individual's baseline blood sugar levels. Beer contains carbohydrates in the form of maltose and other fermentable sugars, which can contribute to increased blood sugar levels. Light beer which typically contains fewer carbohydrates than regular beer, may be a better option for individuals with diabetes who choose to consume alcohol. However, it is crucial for individuals with diabetes to monitor their blood sugar levels closely and adjust their diabetes management plan accordingly when consuming alcohol. Beer and Diabetic Complications Long-term complications of diabetes include cardiovascular disease, neuropathy, nephropathy, and retinopathy. Chronic alcohol consumption has been associated with an increased risk of developing these complications, highlighting the importance of cautious alcohol consumption in individuals with diabetes. A study published in the journal Cardiovascular Diabetology in 2016 examined the association between alcohol consumption and cardiovascular complications in individuals with type 2 diabetes. The researchers found that heavy alcohol consumption was associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular complications, including coronary heart disease, stroke, and peripheral artery disease. In addition to cardiovascular complications, alcohol consumption can also exacerbate diabetic neuropathy, a condition in which nerve damage occurs due to prolonged high blood sugar levels. A study published in the journal Alcohol and Alcoholism in 2015 found that alcohol consumption in individuals with diabetes was associated with an increased risk of peripheral neuropathy, particularly in those with poor glycemic control. Alcohol consumption may also affect diabetic nephropathy, which is kidney damage resulting from diabetes. A study published in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases in 2010 found that heavy alcohol consumption was associated with an increased risk of diabetic nephropathy in individuals with type 1 diabetes. Furthermore, retinopathy, a complication characterized by damage to the blood vessels in the retina, can also be exacerbated by alcohol consumption, particularly in individuals with poorly controlled diabetes. Beer and Diabetes Recommendations Given the complex relationship between beer and diabetes, it is essential for individuals with diabetes to make informed decisions about alcohol consumption. The American Diabetes Association ADA, offers the following recommendations for individuals with diabetes who choose to consume alcohol. Moderate alcohol consumption The ADA recommends that women with diabetes limit their alcohol intake to one drink per day and men with diabetes to two drinks per day. A standard drink is defined as 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. Consult with a healthcare professional. Individuals with diabetes should discuss their alcohol consumption with their healthcare team to determine the most appropriate guidelines for their specific needs and circumstances. Monitor blood sugar levels. Individuals with diabetes should closely monitor their blood sugar levels before, during, and after consuming alcohol to prevent hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia. 
Consume alcohol with food. Consuming alcohol with a meal or snack can help mitigate the impact of alcohol on blood sugar levels. Choose low carbohydrate beer options. Light beer, which typically contains fewer carbohydrates than regular beer, may be a better choice for individuals with diabetes who choose to consume alcohol. Be aware of medication interactions. Some diabetes medications, such as insulin and sulfonylureas, can interact with alcohol and increase the risk of hypoglycemia. Individuals with diabetes should be aware of potential medication interactions and adjust their diabetes management plan accordingly when consuming alcohol. Avoid excessive alcohol consumption. Heavy alcohol consumption and binge drinking can lead to acute and chronic complications in individuals with diabetes. It is essential to avoid excessive alcohol consumption to minimize the risk of complications. Drinking patterns matter. What you drink, beer or wine, doesn't seem to be nearly as important as how you drink. Having seven drinks on a Saturday night and then not drinking the rest of the week isn't at all the equivalent of having one drink a day. The weekly total may be the same, but the health implications aren't. Among participants in the health professionals follow-up study, consumption of alcohol at least three or four days a week was inversely associated with the risk for myocardial infarction. The amount consumed, under 10 grams a day or more than 30 grams, didn't seem to matter as much as the regularity of consumption. A similar pattern was seen in Danish men. Smaller amounts of alcohol, about one drink per day, spread out over four or more days per week had the lowest death rates from any cause, compared with women who drank the same amount of alcohol but in one or two days. The most definitive way to investigate the effect of alcohol on cardiovascular disease would be with a large trial in which some volunteers were randomly assigned to have one or more alcoholic drinks a day and others had drinks that looked, tasted, and smelled like alcohol but were actually alcohol-free. Many of these trials have been conducted for weeks, and in a few cases months and even up to two years, to look at changes in the blood, but a long-term trial to test experimentally the effects of alcohol on cardiovascular disease has not been done. In conclusion, the relationship between beer and diabetes is complex and depends on factors such as the amount and frequency of alcohol consumption, the individual's blood sugar levels, and the presence of diabetes-related complications. While moderate alcohol consumption may have a protective effect against the development of type 2 diabetes, it can also interfere with diabetes management and increase the risk of acute and chronic complications. It is essential for individuals with diabetes to make informed decisions about alcohol consumption and consult with their healthcare team to determine the most appropriate guidelines for their specific needs and circumstances. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.